In case you missed it, a Jefferson County grand jury has indicted two men for a murder at a McDonald's in Groves. Prosecutors say Durante Everfield and Daryl Provost were involved in the shooting death of 19 year old Alfonso Solomon last month at the fast food joint on Twin City Highway. Investigators believe this was not a random killing. An indictment reveals that Everfield and Solomon were arguing in the parking lot when Provost, who was in the car, allegedly started shooting. Prosecutors say Everfield jumped in the vehicle and the two men drove off. Both remain in jail tonight on high bonds. Jasper County Sheriff's deputies are asking for help finding this man, Everett Long. He's 74 years old, left his home in Jasper May 4th and was headed to a community bank location. He eventually asked for directions to DPS, but never made it there. Get this, he was last seen at a Love's station in Calhoun, Georgia. He has possible signs of dementia. If you have any idea where Long is, call the Jasper County Sheriff's Office. A grand jury has indicted a man who's accused of crashing into a Port Arthur police car. According to a probable cause affidavit, Adrian Estrada hit the patrol unit on Proctor near Atlanta in March. Officers say Estrada was driving on the wrong side of the road. They thought he was drunk. Estrada ditched his vehicle and took off running after the crash. The officer, by the way, had a head and shoulder injury. A Houston deputy has lost his life after a crash involving an 18 wheeler. This was on Tomball Parkway near Spring Cypress today when the deputy Robert Howard clipped the back of a parked 18 wheeler. The aftermath here, the deputy's patrol unit split in half. The roof of the unit was jammed into the back of the big rig. The 27 year old would die in the hospital. He leaves behind a wife and two children.